Right, the next step in our process, uh, we're going to actually install the power supply. And we want to kind of show you, uh, for this particular case, where the power supply goes. And kind of show you uh, how it looks on the outside and the inside of the case so you have an idea what you're looking at. Um, as you can see, this is a bottom mount power supply case. Uh, this is the top of the case. This down here is the bottom of the case. So that's a look from the inside. So we have this area here. Let's go ahead and give you a look on the back. You'll always see this big cutout where the power supply is going to go. And that's where we're going to install it. For this particular build, we're putting in no CZ, 550 watt power supply. Should be plenty for this system we're building. Now, for when you have a, bat, a bottom mount case, there's a couple things that you want to be aware of. Uh, some of the cases come with vents on the bottom. Let's see if we can give you a better view of that. This one does not have a vent on the bottom. Um, so for this particular one, we need to make sure that when we mount the power supply, the fan faces up. We don't want to have the fan facing down. We want to make sure the fan is facing up, if that makes sense. If it had a grate on the bottom, uh, you could have the option to mount it with the fan facing down. Um, but since this doesn't, we want to make sure we mount it with the fan up. That way we don't burn up the power supply. All right, so let's go ahead and get this situated down in here. Kind of, kind of get it set there. Get these cables out of the way that are attached, and then I'm going to slide it back until it's in position. And I'm going to try and get it lined up. Okay, so it looks like I got it lined up, and then I'm going to attach it. Uh, there, in this case, there were screws that came with the power supply that I'm going to be using. Uh, they are the right size, so it will make sure they are, the power supply is secure to the case. So we'll go ahead and show you how we actually screw these in so you can see. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this upper one. And just find the holes and get it tightened down it's pretty easy and straightforward And there you have it. We've got the power supply mounted, secured down, and we're ready for the next step in the process.